Nacho, come on. Come on. Nacho. So, recently I just finished a three week experiment. I had this goal of trying to lose as much body fat as I could in just three weeks using very, very little exercise, putting more emphasis on nutrition. So like any good experiment, you gotta start off and you gotta capture good data in the beginning. What's your starting point? And so I'm gonna take you along for the ride here. I've got some friends that are gonna help me out with this. And we're gonna go through and we're gonna do body composition and see what my starting point is. What's my weight? What's my body fat percentage? We are right next to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, headed over to Nova Southeastern University in SU. Gonna go see my good friend, Dr. Jose Antonio, over there at the Human Performance Lab. He, along with some of his grad students, are gonna be helping me with a little bit of a, let's call it a personal case study that I wanna do. They're gonna help do some pre-testing, meaning before I start this nutrition strategy, and that's part of my goal is a new nutrition strategy. So they're gonna be doing some testing before I start and then doing final testing at the end. We're about to pull in now, so like I said, we'll dive into the details in a little bit. But first, let's uh, meet everyone. I know Dr. Antonio, but I don't know his grad students, so good to meet them for the first time. Uh, hey, what? Uh, I want to introduce James. Hi! Hey, you. 100 million fans. So, here's the crew. Nice to see you, James. Nice to meet you. Veronica. Hi. Veronica, very nice, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Flavia. Flavia. Nice Flavia. to meet you. Jackie. Jackie, very nice to meet you. And I think Cassandra is in the Dexa room, so I think cool. wanted to Dexa you first. Awesome. So, I'm going to go there. Hi. Cass, come on. Hi. Hi. You're good. It's Hi. James. Hi. Cassie. 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 Very nice to meet you. That's Mike. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. So, Cassie will explain what's going on here. So. Okay. So, do you know how tall you are? Yep. Five, nine and a half. Okay. Go ahead. You're going to stand here. Heels there. Toes there. And then don't grab the sides yet. Measuring your weight. Okay. So, now you're going to grab this. Your thumb. Back. And then you're gonna also hold your both sides that too. Hold your arms out to the side so they're not touching. Just look right there. There you go. And then try not to. Move. Yeah, we just finished doing uh, some body composition analysis of James. Uh, we initially did the in body 270. Uh, some of the data we can get from that includes total body water. And then we uh, dexed him, which gives us uh, some really cool information like fat mass, fat free mass. And we're gonna see how that changes over the next several weeks. Jose was telling me once upon a time he had a lot of people that were almost pre-competition, obviously very low body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. He's saying that at that point he'd still never seen anyone single digit before. Didn't he oh, say that once? You'd never on seen this, on, on the, the deck set. I don't. Nobody. One. We had a fighter and a distance runner at ten point two. So they never saw a single digit. Never. Never on this. Yeah, what we're doing with James here is we're uh, determining his resting metabolic rate. Uh, we have him hooked up to a metabolic heart to see, uh, ultimately to see how many calories he'll be burning at rest because we, we want to see what happens over the course of the next several weeks when he goes on a lower calorie diet, see how it affects his body composition, et cetera, et cetera. And it'll give us an idea of how his body responds specifically to some of the different perturbations he's going to do to himself. So this is basically what was going on throughout the entire 15 minutes and you're resting VO2, um, your VO2 and then your max and then we were All right, so we're going to do it again then. Four yeah, weeks. four weeks, four come weeks. back. Very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for being here. Good luck with the Thank you. All right, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Very nice to meet you. All right, very nice. It'll be pretty amazing if I can lose body fat and maintain muscle and somehow maintain my metabolic rate? That'll be the big question. Your results can vary slightly depending on how accurately you follow that nutrition plan, which isn't just about your compliance or willing to comply, meaning to do it. It also means how consistent were you from meal to meal and also total calories throughout the day and how consistent were the macros, meaning, okay, maybe you got exactly 1,100 calories a day every day, but was it the exact same 
breakdown of macronutrients. Was it the same amount of protein, same amount of carbs, same amount of fats every day? Doing this with a meal shake, no other foods, just five meal shakes a day, which equals 1,100 calories, which is 50% of my total caloric intake. By doing that, I'm eliminating all those variables, so it's exactly consistent from day to day to day. I don't want the results to just come from excess exercise, right? We can burn calories from doing additional exercise, but I want this change in body composition to come from nutrition. So if I get positive results, it'll say, hey, you know, look, if you focus on good nutrition, you don't have to go out there and try to kill yourself in your workouts because it's a whole lot easier to cut calories in your nutrition plan than it is to burn them. People always say, oh, you know, yeah, I just ate all those calories, but I'm gonna go work it off tomorrow. Well, if you just consumed an extra thousand calories, there's no way that you're gonna go burn an extra thousand calories. Based on a recommendation from Dr. Antonio, I picked up a, uh, a scale that's a electrical impedance scale. And this is like a baby, you know, consumer grade version of the machine that they used over there in SU. It's not gonna be that accurate. Matter of fact, let's see. All right, your weight was successfully recorded. I'm gonna step off, show more. So it's showing body fat at 25.5%. What we're looking for here is progress. I don't care what this thing says. We got better machines back at NSU, but at least on a daily basis, it can show us what this track record looks like. And then what we have here, this is something I'm really excited about. Right here. So this is the brand new Undersun Meal Shake that I'm super excited about. Been working on this a long time. This is not a protein powder. This is a meal shake, meaning more of a balance of macronutrients. A protein powder is just gonna be high protein, low fat, low carbs. I don't believe in a low fat or a low carb diet. I believe in a balanced approach. And that's exactly what this is. So it is higher protein uh, per serving with 22 grams of protein, but it's also got fiber in there, good fats, etc. And it comes from California almonds. That is the base of this uh, meal shake. It's got 26 vitamins and minerals added in there. So I'm gonna be drinking, <laughs> this sounds crazy. I'm gonna be drinking five of these, five of these. a day. Uh, there is two flavors, this is chocolate. We'll open up the vanilla here. So you can see the, the two of them. Vanilla and chocolate. This tastes amazing, but I'm sure drinking five of these a day for a month straight is gonna get old really quick. We'll see. I have no idea. I, now, I am not recommending this as a regimen. I'm not telling you to stop eating all your meals and only drink these. I'm only doing this as a science experiment, but it will be interesting to see, one, obviously to sustain myself with only these, but to see what it does for lean muscle mass, body fat, and all my other health markers, right? Triglycerides, etc. So it is an extreme approach. Uh, and again, I have to say it again, I'm not recommending that you do this, but this is what I will be drinking for the next four weeks. So after I came back from NSU that night, I got a Nick to help me do some other uh, different measurements. She helped me with circumference measurements. We took pictures up against the wall. I, I wanted to make sure that I had before and after pictures, another frame of reference, another way to track progress. And then we also did uh, skin calipers. And what was interesting is the skin calipers, which I knew they would, put me at a lot lower body fat percentage than the other ones did. Matter of fact, all four means of tracking body composition all had different results. So what's the takeaway? Which one do you use? At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. They're just numbers. Does it matter to you if you're 14, 12, or 10%? Not really. What matters is how you look and how you feel. 